settled into our environment here in St. Petersburg and we're out for a stroll along the waterfront here. It's so spectacular, all the different colors on the buildings. You have the pinks, the green, the blues. And now we're heading out to get the flavor of St. Petersburg, supposedly one of the most beautiful cities here in Europe. Audrey, we're walking next to the Church of the Savior on the Spilled Blood, the most iconic church here in St. Petersburg, and it's under construction. Hot damn. Are you bummed out about this? We're really bummed out. I was saying it's just like going to like New York City and the Statue of Liberty's face and torch are covered up. It's so magnificent though, but... It's really disappointing because we were hoping to get like the iconic picture down by the stream here or the water. And we're not gonna, it's gonna look like garbage. Yeah. We'll show you what we're talking about. A little disappointed, but that's, such is the life of a budget savvy traveler. Quite a lot of people out today, isn't it? Yeah, I feel like I'm in like, uh, Shinjuku? <laughs> Junction? Shinjuku Junction in Japan? Yes, or like Times Square in New York City. Yeah. So busy, so many people out today. I think it's, I think it's... The weather? No, I think it's not, like the busiest city that we've been in so far, right? It just uh, seems like... This leg of the race, yeah. Yeah, huge, huge. So one thing we have to address is the traffic here. Everywhere we've walked, it's just... Bumper it, to bumper. It's bumper to bumper. And we're just waiting for an accident. People are honking, they're really aggressive. Getting frustrated with other drivers, pedestrians, everything. So I guarantee you, before our time here is over, we will get an accident on video, and it'll probably happen right this second because I'm talking about it. <laughs> Rumor has it the most dangerous are thing you you're gonna find here in the city are the drivers. Petersburg continues. So we're here in Lenin Square. This is our last day, our last full day here in St. Petersburg. Uh, we should have a wonderful day of local food, right? Museums, culture, naval warships, um, all throughout the day today. So join us. It's so nice. We're gonna spend as much time out here as possible. This is unusual weather here for spring in St. Petersburg. For April, my God, it's like 65 degrees right now. Gorgeous outside. Although the locals are still wearing their snowsuits. Some of them are. <laughs> some of them are still in some winter gear, but we have some uh, that are in some sort of like you know spring clothing, a little bit more relaxed. So let's see where the day shall take us, shall we? So Audrey, what just happened? Uh, this poor homeless fell on his on his. I don't head. know if we know he was homeless. Uh, he did. He didn't look so good. He was definitely. It took like he was really drunk. Like, could not walk at all. I didn't want to film it because it's probably not appropriate. No. But he tripped so hard just right on that sidewalk here. And like, we were maybe like, I would say 15 or 20 feet away. And you just heard his skull hit the blacktop. Like, almost like it vibrated through. Like, thud. Yes. Thud, 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 thud. Through the blacktop to our shoes. And it's kind of like, well, dude, you're in no condition to really go anywhere. Where are you going? Like you can't even like walk. No, don't be in transit. Just stay still for a little bit. You should just be sitting, lying down, maybe even taking a nap. You should not be walking. And of course, we're right now, what are we walking by? Well, we just looked this up. We're at the medical Mil military, military medical monuments. monuments. Right behind you. And you think the guy would just head that way? Yeah. Maybe he is heading that way after that concussion. Uh, he's just taking the scenic route. I think we're coming off like a shock, like you know, like no, after you just like, come see like I, I an just accident. Got, like, exactly. I just I keep like you hearing, saw someone get shot. I keep hearing the skull hitting Hit the pavement, like douche. And like I said, we are 20 feet away. I think that's why we're so bothered by now it. Now we're like, what the fish? Like, it's like watching someone get killed. Almost. Because I was just like, yeah, he's gonna have a concussion. I'm like, I'm not surprised. Like, he hit so hard. Maybe we'll see him again later. I doubt it.
and so you're about, it looks like the entire Peter and Paul Fortress, but it's like a mob scene. There's like thousands of people here. So I don't know how long this visit is really gonna last. I guess we'll find out. We're gonna go in as far as we have to take. Yes. I think it's the plan. We made it to one of the only beaches on the Neva River here in St. Petersburg. There's very few beaches. This is probably, I think, one of the larger ones. And there are people who are actually, look like they've gone swimming. And that water, there's still ice in it. It's gotta be really cold. Probably refreshing on a day like this because it is a little warm. So Audrey is asking, what is with the men and the thong? What is with the men? And a thong. Is it a Russian thing to wear thongs <clears throat> at the beach? Well, you know, I've never, I've only seen a man wear a thong on a beach one time, and that was on our honeymoon. But that might have, and he was French, and it might have been a joke because it was like neon green with trying to look. I don't think it was a joke. I think that was his taste and passion. But they're all like, let's throw on the thong and let's play some volleyball at the beach today. How about it? <laughs> it's right over us. the bridge and we see a helicopter we're like okay this would be a great opportunity to get some nice footage of this helicopter it's coming closer and closer we didn't think it was gonna come this close at all next thing you know it lands behind us and then all of these people stuff like it looks like strollers tents backpacks, backpacks all flew right into the water from the force of the propeller I was saying I hope there's not a baby inside that stroller because it literally just yeah. picked up and went right in the river and it's cold that water is cold yeah. it still has ice all and over that actually could have happened a baby could have been in there it was like crazy Well, we're about seven miles from the city center now. We got here on the metro. Very pleasant ride, very Which, quick. Which, by the way, looks like any other metro. We felt for the propaganda in the travel guide. That what? That it's the most beautiful metro, metro in the world. It's pretty typical. It's nice, but it's typical. So we came out here to go see that Lenin statue and then just take in some of the Soviet communistic architecture, which is the building next to me on my left, the House of Soviets. So we have a few hours left of daylight here in St. Petersburg, our last full day, and we are going to savor our last hours. So it doesn't look like there's a lot going on over at the U.S. Embassy at all. Huh, Audrey? Mm -mm. No. But they're still flying American flags on the hotels. People are still wearing American flags and Chicago Bulls jerseys. They're still selling American cookies, American chocolate chip cookies. And eating Ma American McDonald's. McDonald's. Or, and then even on the subway, you know, all the advertising for American burger. American coffee. Yeah. American cookies. Yep. So we still have signs of life here. There's still hope. And a lot of people don't know, but we were actually sent here as what? A friendship committee. Travel and peace ambassadors. Peace ambassadors between Russia and the US. And so we made a lot of good friends here during our stay. And I think we're a little bit closer to a resolution. After this. After these two days here. We never brought out 
the fact about how as you were coming in through immigration the lady was actually almost kind of flirting with you a little bit a little really extra sweet and the only thing she asked him was are you in the army and he at said, the end at the end she said are you in the army i said no <laughs> and that was not really, even close that was the only issue that we had the only questioning we got coming in so very easy